Lucy is doing my hair currently. <laughs> French braiding expert. Oh, it's actually so nice. We've officially started our 11 mile walk for today. <laughs> we shall update you on our energy levels in a bit. I just so sad. Anna and I are the last again. No matter how fast we start walking or how in front we always are, we always just end up all the way at the back. Yeah, and like, but like, not even just behind, like a good distance behind. And we're like walking at quite an average pace. Like, this is a good pace for me, but we just don't understand how everyone else. It's just, it's just so fast. It's just such a mystery. Like yesterday from the beach, we were like at the front while we yeah. started, and then towards the end, literally almost the last. Oh, wow. Hiya, unsolvable mysteries. Some beautiful purple heather flowers all across. Finally, the gap is closed. Anna, I'm appearing on Sailing with Shavani today <laughs> to do a test. So, what are you squirting out, Anna? So, this is hydrochloric acid, 10%. Yes. And if it fizzes, then we know that there are carbonate ions. Please do not try at <gasps> home, guys. Ooh, little bubbles. Fizzy, fizzy, fizzy. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. So what is our conclusion from this our experiment? Conclusion is this contains carbonate. Oh, Please so, try at home. So Please try at home. No, no. It's no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> a very bad influence for this like channel. Vinegar. vinegar? Is vinegar acidic? Yeah, Isn't it, it is. But like, anyway, thank you for having me today. <laughs> I will see you later. So guys, this is Calcite. Woo! Crisps and sandwiches is something that I've learned from the Brits. And I've really come to love this combination. There are so many. Sonia. Those dolphins. I don't have to do this Oh, they're beautiful. Oh. 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 Witnessing these spectacular creatures frolicking around in the wide expanse of the ocean made me realize how tiny and claustrophobic aquarium tanks must be for them. And this made me never ever want to see shows with dolphins in captivity. Update to the situation. Guess who's in front right behind the, our head demonstrator. <laughs> Nature's obstacle course for us. Okay, hello guys, it's me again, but you can't see me because I'm behind the camera. We are wading through some, oh, by the way, when it's me, I mean Anna. Um, we are wading through some bracken, as you can see, Shavani, your host <laughs> at the YouTube oh channel, um, is in front. Look at her wading through so skillfully. Arms up to not hit the bracken. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, and keep them in motion. So very good, very good. She's extremely impressive in this environment. Such a wilderness explorer. <laughs> There's the rest of our group ahead. You can kind of see them. As usual, we are a good distance behind because for some reason we seem to walk really slowly, but like we don't think we do. Like if we're behind Marie, we keep pace with her. But then if we're not, then suddenly there's like a humongous gap. Guys, leave a comment down below if you think Anna should start her own YouTube channel because I think she's really good at vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, leave a comment. I might, I'll do a booktube one, you know. <laughs> Chat about books and I'll get Kate on there. <laughs> we can do a V Schwab one. <laughs> Beautiful. Hello. Hello. It's a giant arthropod. This was right after my first ever We in the Wild on this trip. By this point, we were getting quite tired and getting closer to the hottest time of the day. And being out in the open the whole morning was really draining our energy. Not to mention the path we were treading on was getting more challenging. It was during this stretch of the walk that I got stung by a stinging nettle for the first time this trip. 
But on the bright side, the experience we gained over the past few days during walking was making my footing on rocks better and I was navigating myself less clumsily. Also, our view was absolutely spectacular and the dolphin pod was actually swimming by our side in the water for quite a while as we walked. So tired right now. Anna has just retired into the pebbles. <laughs> Lucy, Annie, how tired are you guys on a scale of 1 to 10? We're designing a spa for geologists. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here sucking an orange. <laughs> You're doing great, Lucy. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I jinxed it. So the dendron, is that just sort of a word for all the carbon Hi sheepoos! That's Yao. He used to be the king of the rock, but then he fell. <laughs> fell. Oh, oh, look, look! Some, oh, 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 he's gonna take Yao's throat. <laughs> <laughs> Anna's getting passionate about this fight. Anna is encouraging aggression. It's in Hunan Ling, makes fun of Yao for being the king of the rock, but then Yao kicks off Ling. So actually, <gasps> Yao's always the winner. Intense. Intense sheep drama. So my hand, come, Mr. Squiggly. Oh. Mr. Squiggly. Oh. oh. I don't think he's gonna. He doesn't like me. Oh, he's he just goes on. He's like, no. Why does he really want the grass? <laughs> he just does. Do you want the grass instead? Oh, do you want like a piece of Look wood? Look at this little guy. Grass. Okay, now oh, lift wow. him. So cool. uh, come on, lift him. Lift him. Oh, <laughs> he's a bit speedy, actually. Bye. Oh. He's massive. Yeah. He's a chunky boy. Yeah. There we go. Let's throw this piece of shit. <laughs> Like, have you had an oil massage? No. You just need to come to Asia right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to introduce the masala tea oil. Hi, Anna. Helena. Lucy. Annie. We needed to submit a negative COVID test every morning before breakfast. These were the vegan goodies that the head chef kindly arranged for me. This was right after our first ever mapping task. We were given a small area to make a geological map of and had to work in pairs. We waited all morning for the tide to subside and when it finally did, we were able to cross these rocks to go and see a very impressive obsidian outcrop. You can tell we were becoming rock climbing experts by this point in the trip. Apart from its geological significance, King's Cave was supposedly where Robert the Bruce hid and drew some life inspiration from a spider, which kept attempting to spin a web despite its repeated failures. Bruce then returned to inflict a series of defeats on the English, and there is a giant spider statue at the entrance commemorating this legend. It literally just looks like a rock on top of another rock. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Cool, That's it? really cool. Able to At this place, we had a field sketching competition for 15 minutes, and the winner of this competition would apparently win a very attractive prize along with bragging rights. Is it actually easier to walk on? <sighs> what are we doing now, Helena? Walking along the beach. <laughs> We're walking on the walking wetter the sand. In the, in the sea. Yeah, I feel like that's Lucy's forever dream to just go in the sea. Literally, yeah, we never go during the day as well. Like, there's so many times we're near the beach during the day and we just don't go in. Yes, preach queen. I shall. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, look at those ripples, guys. <gasps> wow. Like a million years later. <laughs> All of them are currently judging our artworks. Please <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't. If you're now, you may be charged. Uh, <laughs> so I have to say, actually, wow, the ones I've seen, I haven't looked at them all. The standard is just absolutely unbelievable. And I've been handed a pile of notebooks here that are all shortlisted and sort of deserve an honourable mention. And they haven't been selected as the sort of finalists. Uh -huh or equal finalists for various reasons, which our panel can probably comment on. So, um, let's focus on the positive. <laughs> <laughs> a great field sketch with a, a level of detail with some annotations. 
Another one here. What's he doing? Uh, I don't have a name. We've got a more artistic looking one. Uh, <laughs> sort of representation of, of what's going on. Uh, and the final honourable mention uh, is this one, uh, is this one here. Mm. Uh, I can't say that looks like art. Which, yeah, I mean, again, Today. just superb field yeah. sketch and sketch. So, sketch. so those are the honourable mentions. Oh. So right oh. Oh. We have three uh, equal first place. <laughs> three very different styles of sketches, actually. Three entirely different things. So they've been sort of selected for different different reasons. So I think this one, you know, it's the um, orientation, the way the orientation has been recorded, that it's really um, been very helpful for this one. So a bearing on the orientation has been given, so we know the exact orientation that that sketch was taken from, which is a really helpful thing from a scientific uh, point of view. Again, you know, excellent field sketch, captures a lot of the detail. And look at, look at the level of annotations which are throughout there, and the sort of the scientific detail questions, hypotheses, observations that are being mentioned through there. Really nice. And again, excellent field sketch with lots of observations and I guess different levels of detail in here, some sort of zoom mm. in um, bits on, on certain areas as well as the actual field sketch from a distance and, you know, capturing the foreground uh, as well and good use of sort of numbering mm. and, a, and a different sort of system for conveying the information in a, in a different way. Three excellent field sketches, but that were selected amongst uh, uh, an array of field sketches, which to be perfectly frank, are better than mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are we sitting fully? Yeah, three, two, one, go. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, wait, Helena, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Just the The whole day today, we had to map an area of 4 square kilometers in the North Glen Sanix Valley. This mapping task was quite challenging. It involved finding exposed contacts between different rock units, which required us to walk in streams and occasionally slip into them, <laughs> wade through meters of thick, tick-infested bracken, trek uphill in the sweltering heat, all while keeping our eyes peeled for anything interesting. Our group of six was split into three pairs, and each pair was tasked with mapping a certain section of the map. Due to this division of labor and the large expanse of mapping area, mapping pairs were often alone for the entire day, and it was a very independent project. Personally, this was the most difficult day for me because I struggled to work with my mapping partner and felt quite alone. That's where we need to get to, but there's this huge fence in between that we are unable to cross. So close yet so far. Now we need to go all the way in front and then come around and come back. <laughs> but it was really nice meeting everyone at lunch break, and we even had a surprise barbecue from our lecturers. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. In the evening, each group had to present and explain their map and answer the questions from the panelists. We walked all the way downstream to the river towards the edge of the field mapping area and we came across a very distinct um, difference in the rock type. Well done. The best end to the day was when our group won the title of best map and each of us got a free drink which we enjoyed by the sea in the evening. Oh, no. oh. Like the one oh that <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I need to warm up. Nice. Right, this is gonna go far, this one. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh <laughs> On our last day at Aaron, we had an options day, which meant that we were given a choice on which kind of activity we would like to do on the last day. All of us trekked towards the peak called Goatfell, 
Half of us went on the regular path up to Goatfell, whereas the other one took a more challenging route that involved lots of scrambling over rocks. The UK was having a heat wave at this point, and this day was definitely the hottest day in the entire week. So close, yet so far. The hike up to Goatfell was definitely the hardest and most steepest hike I've done in my entire life, and I was really close to giving up at multiple points throughout the hike. After taking many breaks and sitting down lots of times, we all finally made it to the top and the view was amazing. Goatfell! Let's part the way down because we get to enjoy the beautiful way. <laughs> I feel like this is theater. The block. We put them into these little. We have just gotten out from swimming in here and now look, there's dolphins in the distance. Oh, that's so cool. Dolphins. Oh my, Jonah, don't make, don't make me get back in. We, we split up into two groups earlier. One group saw the dolphins. One group, which was our group, didn't. Oh, it's so cool to see the dolphins. That's so cool. Jonah. This is Kate's midge net. Yeah. <laughs> I really am rocking the look. <laughs> <laughs>